Hey everybody! Hello! So, sorry we've been missing in action, mm -hmm. but um, Kim got cooties and then she gave me cooties, so we've been home resting, but we're feeling a little better. Mm -hmm. Well, I am. Erin's not so much. <laughs> yeah, still a little bit under the weather, mm -hmm. but um, I think I'm get getting towards the end of it. But we're here at Puckett's to have some dinner. Mm -hmm. um, you've never been here before. Well, you've never been here before. Uh, we've driven by numerous times. I know it used to be a regular sit-down restaurant, and now it is a quick service restaurant. Yep. They do have a bar inside as well, and they have live music sometimes during the week. Ooh, that's fun. Well, about yeah. quick service, we're right here in the middle of Pigeon Forge, which is awesome. So we're gonna go have some dinner. All right, let's go try it out. Let's do it. So we're here to eat local at Puckett's, right off the parkway, right next to the Christmas place. Christmas Inn, beautiful shot, the Smoky Mountains there, and this is Puckett's. So we're gonna go try it out. There's a cool truck behind you. Yeah, it's really cute. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm hungry. hungry. Let's go eat. We've been stuck at home, cooped up in the RV, living off Dollar General. <laughs> Uh, so we're ready for some food. We haven't done a food review in a while. We haven't done a video at all in a while, so we're happy to be back. So here is the menu at Puckets. They have some starters here. Some good looking ones too. Chicken tenders, cherry smoked wings, those sound good. Some nachos. They also have some salads, country crab salad, barbecue taco salad. That sounds really good. All right, they have some Tennessee favorites and they come with two sides and a signature Cajun corn cake. You can uh, pay extra for mac and cheese or uh, the sweet potato fries, which is what we did. It was an extra $2. Uh, they have fried chicken, fried catfish. I'm getting the Puckett's barbecue platter with the smoked pork and beef brisket. Aaron is getting right underneath that, the smoked meatloaf. House ground, slow smoked, finished on the grill and topped with mushroom gravy. Sounds so good. She also got the mac and cheese. They have ribs, which I almost got. And um, our server here, Abby, told us that the piggy mac is one of the most popular dishes here. Smoked pork in the iron skillet topped with white cheddar mac and cheese and biscuit crumbs. Sounds delicious. Here's a look at their side items. I got the sweet mashed potatoes and the baked beans and the mac and cheese. They have a lot of burgers here to choose from. Fried chicken club, barbecue sliders, all sound good. And they do also have um, some house made desserts. Cobbler of the day today was apple pie. So we just ordered over here at the counter. And got a number. We got a soda and a water. Oh look, there's Dolly behind you. Have fun. I love that. <laughs> That's really cool. They have uh, soda machines here. And then you get to sit wherever you want. And that's the bar right there. Yeah, whole bar going on. It's pretty nice in here. Look at all these guitars and everything on the wall. The Cowboy right hats. There. Yeah, there's the stage they where they have live music. Live music. It's pretty cool. And they have, it looks like they have a lot of like off the side private rooms too if you were going to have like a big party. Private party. Celebration. They also have a whole nother room in here with a fire fireplace. Wow. So they definitely could fit large parties. I love it. Yeah, I love all the decorations on the wall. Cool. Really cool. You wanna do some laundry, Kim? <laughs> oh, does this work? <laughs> Woo! It worked. <laughs> Shaking her head at me. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Alright, so I was just told to check out the bathroom. After she squeaked the board. <laughs> I, I drew some attention to myself. Oh, wow, it smells delicious in here. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Look at the old doors. So pretty. Wow. I am impressed. This is about as you can hang out with. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Look at all the outhouses on the wall. Oh, that's so cute. They're all outhouses. Well, this is cool. I'm glad nobody's in here. We could show you the bathroom. This is so cool. Love it. Aaron's yelling at me to show the sink. I love the faucet. It's so cute. This is how you wash your hands. <laughs> it's a table. They have 
Lots of stuff on the table here. Barbecue sauces, original. What's the other one? Spicy some pepper sauce. Pepper sauce. Spicy barbecue. Spicy barbecue. And we're sitting right by the bar. And they have like a lot of the old smoky moonshine and whiskey. They have all different spirits and everything that are made with them. You're good. <laughs> bar of many colors. That's so cute. I got moonshine shots there. Yeah, seven fifty. They have some specialty cocktails right now. They sound really good. They're all with Old Smoky. But there's Cupid's Arrow, which is the strawberries and cream on the rocks, just with the um, moonshine cherry. Mm. And then a cherry almond sour. That sounds really good. It's armoretto, sweet and sour, mixed mm. garnish with an Old Smoky moonshine cherry. And then a Tennessee creamsicle with Old Smoky orange moonshine mixed with vanilla rum, orange juice, and topped with lemon. They all sound good. That sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you got a drink, it would clear you up a little bit. Maybe like a shot of tequila. Yeah. <laughs> we've been stuck in the RV for so long. Try not to spread our sickness to the yes. world. Sorry that we've been MIA. Thank you for those that have checked on us and yeah. asked about us. We, we haven't put a video out in over a week, which is a lot. So it kind of feels weird to be filming again. It does. <laughs> I feel like we're starting all over. Right? <laughs> Are you excited? Because our Smell. food is here. So all right, here's Aaron's. Smoked meatloaf. Smoked meatloaf. Wow. It's got mushroom gravy and mac and cheese and mashed potatoes. And this is the little corn cake Cajun that you get with corn your... corn cake? Looks like a little mini pancake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? Pretty good. <laughs> Here's a look at my food. The brisket and the pulled pork. The skillet mac and cheese. I got sweet mashed potatoes and um, baked beans. But looks pretty good. Aaron's meatloaf also looks awesome. It does. There's a little barbecue sauce on there. Yeah, I did the original. The original. Good. Mm -hmm. It's a good amount of food, man. Try this brisket. Yeah. Brisket. Mine was even cheaper than yours. Mine was $15.99. And you got three sides. Yeah, I don't know why mine came with three. She's like, it was completely Okay. <laughs> the brisket's nice and thick. Yeah. Are you joking? <laughs> Give me a second. All right. So how was the brisket? The brisket was really, really good. I mean, it was a little bit on the dry side. That's what I'm joking about. But it's really good. It has a really good flavor. And I actually really like the barbecue sauce. Yeah. But the best thing so far is mac and cheese. The mac and cheese. Look at this. It's like so creamy and oh. I can't wait to dig it. With like little crumbs on top. A little like garlicky. It's like garlic crumbs. Mm -hmm. Really good. And we were, we were talking about what we are going to order. I was like, I'm going to get the mac and cheese. So I was like, if you want some, you better order your own mac and cheese. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Sweet potato is pretty good. Sweet mac. Yeah, it looks good. Like, like yeah, it's nice. just like plain oh, like sweet potato. Yeah. I feel like it's like real sweet potato. Yeah. Mashed up. Mm -hmm. Mashed up the beans. Uh, do you like them? Are they sweet? Are they like tomato-y? I know you don't love tomato beans, but they're pretty good. Yeah, not really sweet or tomato. But you like them? But they're good. Oh, oniony. Oniony. This little I'm Asian pancake. So excited about mine. Oh, yeah. They smoke it and then they sear it on the grill, so you can kind of see the dark here, the char marks from being on the grill. I'm so excited. I'm gonna dig in. This place got really crowded really quickly. We, get, we came at the right time. Literally, it, everybody came after. And us. I'm trying not to film other people. Look at this chunky. Meatloaf, you can see like some pepper or something in there. I don't even know what it is. Cheers. Smoked meatloaf, huh? Oh. MG. What you think? Is it good? Okay, hold on. That is delicious meatloaf. Uh huh. Kim and I went to Chicago um, a few years back. I actually won a trip off of the radio to, to Chicago. We went, and one of our favorite places we ate there was the Weber Grill House, yeah. I think it was called. Basically, it was a restaurant, and everything's cooked on Weber Grills. Uh -huh. And they had this smoked meatloaf there. Yeah. Fell in love with it. We went back there twice on our trip and ate because <laughs> it's so good. I think this might be better than that one. Really? It's really, really good. Now I understand why the meatloaf okay. costs more than your I need, um, I, need <laughs> I need to try it. Maybe. I'll see if I can give you a bite. Better. It's so good. 
Okay, Whew. I'm getting full already. This is definitely a lot of food. My brisket is really good. It's in really nice thick pieces. Just to me, it was just a little bit dry. Whole pork was pretty good. I just got some weird, like big chunky pieces. How are you feeling over there, Erin? What did you think of the meatloaf? The meatloaf was really good. She did she did let me try a piece. She was nice. It's so good. It was good. Really flavor. I really don't know. I know there's some it looks like maybe some like mentos or something, pimento peppers or something. Like I'm not sure. Peppers. But it's so much flavor and then the smoke and then the char on the outside and then the sauce. It's a nice thick piece too. Really, really good. Um, star of the show, I definitely think is the mac and cheese. Oh my god! You know, over it's the Tennessee so Tennessee good. barbecue is supposed to be really good. Blah blah blah. No, so many places have really good mac and cheese yes. here, right? Where else? Mama's Chicken Kitchen, oh, yeah. their mac and cheese is so good. Bigfoot Philly cheesesteak. Oh my god! So yeah. good. So good. So yeah, maybe we need to find the best mac and, mac cheese, and cheese in the Smokies. In the Smokies. This one's really good. Yeah. Highly recommend. This is so much food. I'm full. How was your meal, ma'am? Very good. I it's really enjoyed cute it. Cute little restaurant. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's the best barbecue in town, in my opinion. But I enjoyed it. The best meatloaf I've had in Tennessee. Right? Where else like have meatloaf. you had meatloaf? Hmm? Where else have you had meatloaf? Paula Deans. And I tried your meatloaf when you got it at Smith and Sons. Did you get a cracker bell? No. No, Cracker Bell got the chops, chopstick. But so good. Very, very good. You got it at Five, five House Farm. Farm, farm, farm House. Five Oaks Farm Yes, house kitchen. that one. <laughs> did you get the meatloaf there? I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one's better. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at our check. Aaron's meatloaf was $18.59 plus the extra $2 for the mac and cheese. We got one drink. My platter was $15.99 plus $2 for the mac and cheese. Tonight was a local night, so we got 50% off, which was awesome. So, I mean, I guess our bill would have been like, almost like 45 bucks all together. So, we got a good deal. We had a good time here at Puckett's. I saw some people's, I saw some people's food on the way out, and it looked really good. Like a fried chicken salad, like club sandwich, like, the food here looks pretty good. And they have an appetizer fried pimento cheese bites. Ooh. I'm gonna try those next time I come, maybe. They sound really good. Here's the hours at Puckett's. Sunday through Thursday, 11 to 9, Friday and Saturday, 11 to 10. They got these cute rocking chairs out here. That's nice. So they do have these tables out here, so I guess if you wanted to eat outside, Sorry. you can let them know. Hey, you could. Be outside. Yeah. It's a beautiful night here in the Smokies. It's hot. Yeah. We're in the middle of a heat wave it's right crazy. now in February. Yesterday was up to 80 degrees. Today it was like up to like 77 degrees. It's weird. So hot. I'm wearing shorts, shorts for the first time <laughs> since winter started. I know. I'm not ready for it. It was it's like feeling the heat is like, oh. Especially it's been very humid, which right. we haven't had humidity for a minute. So it's like, ugh. Maybe Are we, we need, back in Florida? Maybe we need to start traveling Are north. Are we back in Florida? <laughs> We're going to start traveling north? Maybe. We need to chase the winter. Yeah. <laughs> Stay away from the heat. <laughs> the heat. We're not we are not about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what'd you think of Puckets? Which I back? really enjoy oh yeah, for that meatloaf, absolutely. Mm -hmm. The mac and cheese. Maybe just for that alone, because the mac and cheese was amazing. Amazing. We so thought good. about trying the desserts. They had a deep fried brownie sundae that sounded incredible. No. And a cinnamon roll bread pudding. Bread pudding sounded really, really good as well. They also had a cobbler, an apple cobbler. So yeah, I mean you can pretty much find they have burgers and the sandwiches and you'll be able to find something anybody in your party will enjoy. And again, that it is quick service too, so you can order, go yeah. sit down, relax. The food came out pretty pretty quickly. Yeah, it wasn't so too bad. yeah. And yeah, they still came around, cleared our plates and everything. Yeah, like that. the staff here is super, super friendly. Yep. Answered all of our questions, kind of anticipated our needs, which I really appreciated, mm -hmm. especially being a you know quick service restaurant. Yeah. They treated you as if you were at, you know, a regular sit down dining sit down restaurant yeah. yeah hi guys hope you enjoyed the video yes if you did please hit your like button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe we've missed y'all we're happy to be back and we will see you in the next episode bye y'all good night